will now reveal the first image in our sequence, and here is the first sight of our Euclid image. Thank you for introducing this first image, Carol. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about what we can see here. Yeah, so dazzling, I think, is the first word to describe here. Um, so what you can see here is one of the, the biggest uh, gravitationally pulled together structures that we have in the local universe. This is a galaxy cluster called Perseus, and we'll hear a little bit more about that shortly. And we expect to find many of these in the Euclid universe. But each of the dots on this image, most of them um, are galaxies in the distant universe. So we think there's something like 100,000 galaxies in this slice of the sky, going back into cosmic time, about 10 billion years. And then we've got nearby galaxies and all of those distant ones. And so there's a huge amount of data alone in this image to mine. In fact, I was already zooming in on this when I had a sneak preview. So there's, I think there's a lot. We can even zoom in a little bit. We can actually. I think there's probably a zoom we have now. Um, and you can start to see the, the distant points, but actually even nearby, we've got distorted galaxies. Um, we have pairs. We have lovely spiral galaxies, a bit like the Milky Way. Um, so we've got all sorts of things in here. I know our scientists will probably be going to ESA Sky to dig into this. Um, and then, of course, you can see these, these distant objects. These bright things here that actually have the spikes, these so-called diffraction spikes, these are stars in our own galaxy. And so, obviously, we'll also be able to do some galactic science for free along the way. But, yeah, there's just so much rich science and physics to be extracted from these images. And, of course, the colors themselves tell us something about the physics encoded in the light, too. So we've got lots of codes to decode uh, as we work through this. But what we also know is that the dark matter and dark energy energy and the physics that um, govern those are also encoded in the shapes and the structures and the patterns that we will see with these Euclid images as we, we build up the survey. That's, it's so incredible to hear how much can come out of these images. I'm very happy to also be joined by Jean-Charles Coyandre, an expert in wide field ultra deep imaging. Jean-Charles, can you explain a bit about what these galaxies that we see here will tell us? So, uh, so this large image, which captures the whole field of view of Euclid, actually is pretty obvious you have some large objects which are actually sitting on the tip of your nose because they're only 200 million light years away. Uh, and like Carol just said, like if you project that same structure beyond, you will see all these little dots. So it's kind, of, it's kind of the universe repeating itself in this structure on and on. So what we know with the structure, you almost can see it on the screen, is that you, we talked about filaments and dark matter and dark energy. And so we know there's a comic, cosmic web, that's the way the, the universe is structured. And uh, Clusters usually condense at the, at the crossroad of uh, filaments of dark matter. And so this is a great example because we know from looking at all these galaxies that you have a filament that go left, right, mm -hmm. you almost see it, right? And one which is top down, which you almost get a sense because of the over density of galaxies. And so that's why this Perseus cluster uh, is a good sample for, for now to study, well, the astrophysics, how objects do behave in this sort of environment. Fantastic, and I think, yeah, we even have uh, a closer up view of the Perseus cluster. Yeah, so in this one, just like Carol was mentioning, we, we see like a diversity of uh, types of galaxies. You have spirals, you have ellipticals, and then we have also dwarfs, tons of dwarfs, because you know, the, the smaller you get into the, uh, the zoo of galaxies in uh, clusters, the more you find them. And so this field already has revealed a tons of, uh, of these dwarf galaxies. Very exciting. Fantastic. And Carol, we've imaged the, the Persis galaxy cluster before with other telescopes. What makes Euclid's view so special? I think there are two things that are very special about Euclid. The fact that we can do such a broad area immediately. So as, as Jean-Charles said, you see immediately the cosmic structures, which you know scientists in the past have painstakingly tried to take little pieces of the data. You know, you find a galaxy, you measure its position, and then you slowly build up this map. So they were really the forerunners for this. We knew that there was a hint of these filamentary structures, and that was really what motivated us to actually to, to build this mission. And immediately it pops out, as you know, just 
just one image, there you go, there's the filament. So think of the potential of that. But also the fact that it is so sensitive, as Jean-Charles says, it's sensitive enough to pick up the smallest galaxies, which are faint, um, but it also has exquisite precision in its optics. So these faint small galaxies, if we look from the ground, they will be merged in. We wouldn't be able to distinguish them in detail. And if we look at them with uh, current space missions, for example, Hubble, which has been great, and Webb as well, which is doing really important work, we would only be doing a little patch of the sky. So it's combining that, that wide area, the depth and the precision, you then get these crystal clear and uh, stunning images going back in cosmic time. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Carol and Jean-Charles, for joining me.